Okay, so this is uh, episode one of my weekly blog, or vlog even. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a semi-busy week for me. So I'm off to the office now in Oxfordshire. And um, I've got some work to do there. And after that, I'll be off to Liverpool. So let's go. For free today. Opportunity starts on Gumtree. Today we're chopping prices. Okay, so I've arrived. So I'm going to get started, do some work, and then um, after that, I'll go home. I'm feeling really tired. I don't know why. I've had like over, well, almost eight hours sleep. But my back is hurting, and um, I need to charge my. Um, jawbone up device keeps oh yeah it's dying so I'm trying to lose some weight and um, you might see my progress in this um, in this series of um, vlogs so um, yeah if you're interested in losing weight too uh, just see what I'm doing and do the complete opposite <laughs> Well, don't do the opposite, just find um, a better way to do things and stick to it. Okay, so, back to work. Okay, so it's time to go. Where are you? There you go. Ugh. Right, so that's that. Obviously, I couldn't show you much, um, but um, I'm sure we can. The rest of the week is going to be pretty good. So I'm going to spend two and uh, almost three hours on the road. Um, okay, so I'm off now to Liverpool. It's Tuesday and I need to be there before 2 p.m. so I can set up. So I'm just leaving now and you're going to see my journey there, hopefully. Sorry yesterday was such a boring day that there wasn't anything I could film. So yeah, so um, I'm sorry about that but not all days are like that so <laughs> let's go. Okay, so pit stop done and I'm ready to go on my journey. Don't think I'm going to film the rest of this bit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm here now and um, my registration desk hasn't been set up. So this St George's Hall is in the Liverpool city centre, right next to the library and um, it's actually quite a nice building. Okay, so I'm in the room now, and um, it's actually a lot brighter than the other rooms that I'm normally in. Well, let's have a look around. Found a problem already. Whack, that's a hazard. See what the view's like. Oh shit. 
What's the Tusca? No, thank you. Tusk Italian. Okay, so this is Wednesday, or the end of Wednesday. I'm getting ready to go and get something to eat. Some real crap shit's been happening in London and um, it's just gonna make it hard for people of my skin color to, um, <laughs> to live, basically. So yeah, it's really bad what's happened. Um, and it's just bad all around. But um, I don't know exactly what's happened. I've just read a couple of headlines and that's it. A centre for, for tourists to come, to have their picture taken uh, around Parliament. Hi guys, so it's Friday morning now and um, I skipped over Thursday. There wasn't really much happening on Thursday. So um, came back from Liverpool last night and now I'm just going to do some work in, at home from my home office and yeah get ready to go to Argentina okay so it's Saturday morning it's 5 a.m. and uh, my wife's just woken me up and uh, she's gone to work so um, I need to now get ready because I can't go back to sleep and I just realized Formula One's on so I'm going to watch qualifying before I leave so that's going to be awesome I thought I would miss it for some strange reason I totally forgot about the um, the time difference so um, yeah I'm going to watch that going to get dressed maybe get a haircut today I was trying to get a haircut yesterday but my hairdresser wasn't ready, uh, it wasn't available. So I'm going somewhere else, that's going to be an experience. I wonder if I can film it. Ironing a green screen. Today is Saturday. Um, I'm on my way to the airport and um, I've got three quarters. Um, sorry. I've got three 
eighths of a tank left from this week. I surprised my wife at work and um, I visited her to say goodbye as I didn't get to say a nice goodbye earlier. I got to watch the qualifying session Formula One. Um, pretty good. I, I, was, I wasn't impressed but um, it was a good it was a good show really. Um, yeah, so I'm heading to Argentina. Before I do, I'm going to get a, a quick bite to eat and uh, and continue on my journey. So, um, yeah, so from Monday to Saturday, there really hasn't been that much that's been going on, apart from going to the office, going to Liverpool, and now going to um, Argentina. So let's see how um, the rest of this um, vlogging video goes. Mmm, filet of fish. A fillet of fish. Filet or fillet? Who knows? But it tastes nice. Mmm. Yes, I would like some fries with that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hi guys, so I've arrived at um, Heathrow Terminal 5 uh, Business Car Park and uh, yeah, Business Car Park because it was actually cheaper than um, yeah, getting uh, one of the other long stays I think uh, it was like 150 odd pounds when I've got it 420 or just under um, The other cheap alternative would have been to have one of those car companies come and uh, take my car and then park it in a field or on somebody's street and, you know and uh, that's not a good thing to do I guess because you know you don't know what's happening with your car you don't know um, you know where it is you don't know if people are driving it anyway so I'm in business parking as you can see here Let's have a look, let's flip it around. There you go, business parking. Hello. Al finalizar el video, no sé si verás que tengan su mesa pegada, que siento ocasión vertical. El apoyador se está abajo y el cinturón que se vea perfectamente a orillero de junta. A los pasajeros que estén viajando en clase ejecutiva les pedimos por favor que recojan su apoyo a pies y por favor presionen el botón azul para colocar el asiento en la posición. Just uh, past customs, got myself some uh, pesos and I'm um, just going to book a taxi but check this out, lunchtime, uh, yeah so I'm just going to go out and see if I can get a taxi or just book one from the airport, usually in places like this you have to book it with like a registered company and they'll take you where you want and not to some kind of drug house where they will like sell your body for like crack or whatever, I don't know. Well, see how it goes.
Okay, so you would not believe what happened to me. Instead of booking a uh, taxi in the airport lobby or waiting area, I ended up going to the one directly outside. Even though it's still on the ground, um, it did seem a bit shifty. Um, I went with it anyway, and um, the guy's car broke down halfway. And he charged me 600 and something odd uh, pesos to um, <laughs> basically to not to my destination. But he did get me another cab, which cost me another 200 pesos. So I'm not doing very well so far. And uh, yeah, I can't check in until one o'clock. So I'm just waiting, and I can't actually find the. Um, I can't find the venue, I did have a look outside, but um, yeah, couldn't see anything. But I'm just going to show you around the lobby. Okay, so um, I finally got a room and uh, just going to show you around it quickly. Weirdly small bath, some free water, I hope. Ooh, a B day. Is it a B day? How am I gonna use that? Don't know if I can call someone if I get stuck. And I don't know if I've got a connection for these, that's gonna be bad. All the wardrobes in the world. Uh -huh. Let's see where I am. Holy shit! See if you can see that. Whew. I'm on the 17th floor. You can tell, can't you? Oh my god, Formula One. But it's going to be all in Spanish. Oh crap. Ah oh, fuck, it ruined it all. Ah. Uh, oh well, at least I don't have to watch it now. Or do I? I still need to watch it. I've gone to find something to eat and I'm walking up these roads and um, streets and what have you. Half the things aren't even open. There's a Starbucks, even the Starbucks is closed. There you go, there's the problem. Everything's liquidated. They've gone out of business. Weirdly, it feels like uh, Montpellier in France and it even smells like it. Smells like this. It's weird. It must be just this area, really. So that was uh, the week as it unfolded, um, that was my first vlog. It's my first proper vlog taken from each day of the week. Um, there were some days where I had very little content. I think Friday I didn't have any content. Um, 
it's just the way it is um, I can't really film a lot of stuff because my workplace will get really annoyed even though it will be A in my own time it will be you know stuff that's not relevant to the company as such but if I mention something you know I don't want to get in trouble over it so my little trip to Argentina um, yeah started off okay <laughs> okay I guess um, so let's just recap uh, I went to the office on Monday on Tuesday I went to Liverpool on a Thursday I came back from Liverpool I had one day working at home and then uh, Saturday I've flown over to uh, Argentina on the plane we had about a half an hour 45 minute delay excuse me um, the delay was wasn't so bad because we made up the time but um, what was annoying was it was very very cold on the plane and um, the person sitting on the next set of um, seats on the side of me um, kept getting up and bending over and shoving her f ass in my face which was really annoying because I think she farted a couple of times this is an old lady so she probably hasn't got any control over her bodily functions and um, it just stank really bad you know to the point where I can, I can just imagine it right now it wasn't good um, yeah so cold plane delayed plane uh, woman with big ass farting in my face um, when I got off the plane I thought yay everything's gonna be okay and uh, I decided to instead of catching a taxi from within the airport's offices there was an office just outside of the entrance and I booked a taxi from there it was done in a very weird way I should have just said no I don't want to do it I don't want a uh, taxi from you guys but um, I just went with it thinking yeah that's fine it would be the cheaper option I'm using my own money to catch a taxi which I can claim back but you know it's just a hassle um, so I uh, jumped into the cab told the guy where I wanted to go and um, his car started playing up and you know it cut out the engine actually cut out I don't know if he's got like a mechanism to make that happen or whatever but we were in a really shady part of town and you know there's graffiti on the walls and like it looked like a place where I could either get mugged murdered or molested and you know the three M's <laughs> and I thought to myself shit what am I going to do so I took my stuff out of his cab and I said to him you better find me another taxi so he uh, flagged one down and uh, the guy was like yeah I'll take you so I got into the back of the cab and I asked him how much it, how much it is to um, the, vent, uh, the hotel and uh, he said it's on the meter so don't worry about it and I said that's fine so going like down the road for maybe I don't know less than 50 yards um, he stopped and said um, I need to be paid in dollars and I'm like I don't have dollars and um, I thought to myself shit what am I going to do so he kicked me out of his taxi so this is the second taxi mind the second taxi um, yeah so the other guy was still around because his car is obviously broken broken yeah broken broken uh, <laughs> um, he held another cab for me and um, this guy said yeah I'll take you 
and I agreed with him the price before jumping in uh, and um, the original uh, taxi driver wanted uh, still wanted his money even though he didn't take me to uh, the venue well didn't take me to where I wanted to go it was halfway and he wanted 600 pesos which is I'm not sure now how much it is in I think it's about 30 odd quid maybe more and uh, so I thought to myself shit what am I gonna do uh, this guy wants uh, 600 pesos the other guy wants 200 I'm already down and um, yeah just really pissed off well, luckily the guy took me to um, took me to my hotel everything was fine he didn't like, argue didn't chat or didn't know anything he just said this is what it is and um, yeah I'm happy that I'm I finally made it I didn't think I would you know thought I'd <laughs> thought I'd probably be like face down in a gutter somewhere it was quite scary to be fair um, but I've actually found out that um, I can catch an Uber now I did have Uber on my phone at one point but this was many many years ago when it first came about um, but they weren't in the UK so I'm going to see if my account still works and then um, I'll start using it I pay the man his money he goes away and uh, I can't check in until like one o'clock and um, the guy at the uh, desk says sorry uh, it's not one o'clock you've requested one o'clock but we won't have any rooms ready till three o'clock and I looked at him and I thought what the fudge and um, so I waited I caught up on a couple of things um, I was just doing some planning for like work business and um, and yeah so I finally got into my room as you can see nice lovely room here and uh, yeah I'm going to uh, edit this video and then go to sleep so uh, we'll see you for vlog number two week two what shall I call them shall I call them vlog one week one or vlog one week two or I don't know how many weeks I'm gonna do these for I might get bored after like six weeks I don't know <laughs> okay it's time to go to sleep <laughs>